Come on. Come on. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The fish, now it's time to chuck it all into the mix. All that fish goes in. Beautiful. And we'll add salt and pepper now. Mm. Hey friends, welcome back to Joe Ninja Fisherman. I'm Joe Ninja and today I'm out again in my hometown of Atalong Beach. It's a glorious morning, outgoing tide, flat seas. I've got my yak all ready to go. As you can see, with my Daiwa Sertate rods and Saltiga BJ and spartan rod over there i'm excited because i've not caught anything and today's the day so stick with me keep fingers crossed let's go out and try and catch a fish oh look at the water how clear it is right there now that's very clear water beautiful i might take the daughter out for a paddle board today Okay, that away we go. That away. Clear water. Very nice. Woohoo! Over there. One thing I love about a kayak is I can stand and chuck that out. Woohoo! Beautiful. Like so. I think it's slack tired now. Like that, bit by bit. Oh, I got a bite there. Oh, well, see that? I got a bite. Absolutely got nibbled there. And I wager if I flicked it out again there. Oh, not a good cast, but who cares? Come on, come on. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. Big feisty one. Oh. There you go. Oh, first fish of the day. On the zillion and the Bon Voyage travel rod. What a beauty. Woo! Oh, look at this beauty. Oh, yeah. Bon Voyage. Z Man. 5 inch I think, paddle tail Oh gosh, that was fun The Zillion Thai wing system and my brand new Bon Voyage travel rod I'm gonna take that to Weeper I broke it in Gee, he hit that really hard Here we go, let's bring it in Oh, yes, 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 yes indeed, yes indeed, oh that's a good one, I'm happy enough with that one, put it down for a second like that, first fish of the day, well he wanted that pretty badly, look at that, chomped it, hooked it right there, yeah, hungry gut, don't you? Well, you did want that. Ah, ah! Come back here. I wanted a shot of that. Look at that. You really gobbled that. Well done. Well done. Hooked really nicely too. My daughter would be pleased. I'll make her a dish for a uh, maybe more popcorn tailor. Donut broken, first fish of the morning. Woohoo! Well, today I'm using my Dai One Zillion TW wing 6.3 ratio. Beautiful, beautiful. You can see the Thai wing over there. I'm a brand new rod from Singapore, Bone Voyage BBC 6648. That's the one I'm going to take the weeper. And let's see how this combo works. 
Beautiful, brand new. Thank you very much, Bone Limb. Thank you very much. Cast over there. <laughs> nice cast. Boom. Let it sink a bit. Two, three. My kayak's turning. Let's finish this one. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. Oh, yeah. Uh -uh. Oh, he got off! <laughs> he got off! Oh, oh, I was stuffing around with the drag. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I'm on! I'm on! I'm on! Not a big one, I don't think it's a big one. Oh, yeah, night. Oh, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Got a third tight, not a big one, but a lot of fun. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh come on. Oh, I got you. One, two, three. There you go. Ah, that was fun. That was fun. Smashed it on the surface. Ah, 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 ah. Look at that. Small one. Caught it really well though. Look at that. Boom. Right on the corner. And that's the Arches 105. And you can see it smack banged in right there. Yeah. Wow. See you later, buddy. Off he goes. Shush. Off he goes. This is so much fun on the Daiwa Zillion TW1520H and the beautiful Bone Voyage Rod, freshly acquired by Bone Limb from Bone Limb from Singapore BVC664H. I'm taking that to Weeper. Woohoo! You see in there? Shallow part in the rock there, I bet you there's something there. In the shadows. Slowly, like this. Oh, I got one right there. Can you believe that? Oh, oh yes. Right in there. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh. Alright. Not a bad one. Uh. Uh. Oh yeah, he got it. Yeah. I got that, the battery ran out, but that's enough for me. That's enough for me. That was a lot of fun right in that corner there. Is it cold? Is it cold? <laughs> oh yeah, it looks like a storm coming. Well, two fish will do me. Not a bad effort for a quick morning fish. Well, we're finally back on land. A simple morning's fishing. I was going to take my daughter paddle boarding, but it looks a bit cloudy. Maybe in the arbor when it finds up, but not bad, not bad at all. Thank you for joining me again on Journey Ninja Fisherman. I hope you enjoyed my episode. Till next time, see you soon. Please like and subscribe. There you go, breakfast is served. That's that tailor filleted and all cut up into four slabs. We'll cut that to smaller pieces right now. And here are all the tailor cut up into little nice fillets and bite morsel size. What you'll need is some chicken powder, salt and pepper, 
fresh garlic, shallots, Chinese rice wine and a bit of salt and dunk it all here like so. Now mix everything by hand into that together with the fish. Very good and then chuck it in the fridge, break that to get all the juice of the spring onion and the ginger in and then chuck it in the fridge. Now that's all been marinated and now we're going to put that all into the fridge, that's what it looks like. Straight into the fridge right now. It's all in the fridge right now, we'll leave it in the fridge and let it marinate there for about half an hour. Now while the fish is marinating in the fridge, let's get our other ingredients ready. We have garlic, shallots or ashalots and shallots, some chili, pepper, you can either use pepper whole peppercorns, black peppercorns, I prefer to use white pepper and later on when the fish comes out you'll be using some of this tapioca flour really to coat the fish. So these are the ingredients, let's get these all prepared ready for the next stage. Now chop up your ashalots, your spring onions, your chili and your garlic and get it ready to be fried up. Now the fish has been marinating in the fridge now for an hour. I might leave it for a little bit longer. You can see how it's tacky and glistening, ready for the next stage. And the tail has been marinated now for about two hours and a bit and it's ready to go. You can see it's glistening and glossy. We're going to use some tapioca flour. Uh, so let's put two of these little beauties on. And oops. One more. Good. <laughs> Chuck all that tailor in there for salt and pepper. I don't have a hot pot, so shell of fry will do me. Probably healthier. Give that a bit of a turn, let it brown up slowly. Give it a little bit of a stir, and I think that's about ready. Right, let's strain them and chuck them away. Okay, put the fish aside in the corner on a paper towel while you prepare the next part of the ingredients. Fry the rest of the uh... <laughs> <laughs> the ginger. That was my wife. It wasn't me. That wasn't me. That was my wife. <laughs> no, you can't. Put the ginger and the uh, green shallots. A bit of a toss and the heat to add to the room. Chuck their shallots in, like so. Put the rest of the ingredients in, garlic, chili, and green shallots in. Everything goes in right now. Right. There you go. Give it a bit of a, like a tossy tossy, I think. Yeah, tossy tossy. Alright. And look at the colors of that, all browning up really nicely. Time to chuck the rest of the ingredients in. I think I'm very happy with that. Fish, now it's time to chuck it all into the mix. All that fish goes in. Beautiful. And we'll add salt and pepper now. Salt and pepper to add to that. Look at that beauty. Beautiful. I like white pepper. Yep. Okay, it's nearly ready. Look at that, that's what you call home cooking. Home cooking. Mm. Now just look at that. That is salt and pepper Taylor. Caught from Athlon Fresh this morning. This is my home recipe. I think that's looking very delicious. Salt and pepper 
Taylor a la Joe Ninja Fisherman. Got this nice little piece here. Mm. 